Hi guys, how are you doing? So today I'm going to be reacting to a video that I've been wanting to react to for quite a long time. Quite a few people have been reacting to this video but I've never watched it and I don't think any Japanese YouTubers have reacted to this, hopefully. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to give you a Japanese perspective on this video. As you know, Japan is a very strange country. Japan's got so many things that would confuse foreigners, but I think it goes the same in the US as well. So let's find out what these 21 things are. The biggest thing that confused me uh, when I first went to the United States when I was probably 10 was the school, uh, primary school, elementary school was just like so so different from Japanese primary schools. I was just confused the whole time. I keep using this term, confused. <laughs> it's my brain bro. When I was taken to elementary school in the US, wow, it was just so shocking, you know, Japanese primary schools are just so strict, strict, strict. Everything is strict, strict, strict. Uh, you have to do this and this, you have to look this way and that way, but wow. The United States was just completely different. Everyone's so different. You could take your own food, you could uh, have your own snack. You were like friends with your teacher. Ah, that was just amazing. I think that's the biggest thing I can think of now. You may have lived in the United States your whole life without realizing that something totally normal for you seems bizarre to people from other parts of the world. What's, what's about this? Munching on fried pickles in a highly air-conditioned room was so outlandish. Well, here are some other highly entertaining Americanisms I've gathered. <laughs> Let's count it down from number 21. Sales tax is a guessing game. When you go mm. shopping in the U.S. and see a price tag that says $14.88, don't expect to pay $14.88 at the register. Sales tax is not included in the price of... That is really interesting as well. Um, I've, in the video that I watched recently, he explained about the sales tax being different depending on the state. That's never the case in Japan. It's all the same, so that is really Since interesting. Since this tax can vary from state to state, figuring out your total can turn into the ultimate mental math challenge. In many European countries, the sales tax is already included in the price. Mm, same in it's Japan. Known at number 20, we're total workaholics. A lot of Americans don't feel the need to take really? long vacations, so they often let vacation and sick hours. This I never expected it. Honestly, workaholics, like Japan is famous for alcoholics. I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not alcoholics, sorry. It's shocking to see the American people are also workaholics. Really? You really work? <laughs> no offense. Plus, most employers only give you two weeks out of the year. 19. It's not a party without red solo cups. In the States, this red plastic cup is synonymous with party on, dude. But You do that ping pong thing with that cup, don't you? Countries apparently don't recognize this cup to mean the same thing. They have to go to a special website to purchase the cups for American themed parties. <laughs> that is funny. Oh. We've been seeing many of these red cups from Costco. Number 18. Deep fried everything. Whether it's fried pickles oh. or even fried Oreos, America has it all. As America does with many things, they've adopted a tradition from far off lands and took it up a notch, or five. 17. Can't really say anything about that because Japanese people also like fried stuff. That's why we have many fried dishes like tempura and katsu and all that kind of stuff. We also do fry a lot of things. Get everything you need right at the pharmacy. If you're not from the U.S., it may be puzzling to walk into a pharmacy and see aisles and aisles of over-the-counter meds, toys, makeup, clothes, and even groceries. Unlike in other countries where pharmacies sell medicine and medical supplies exclusively, the ones in the U.S. This is pretty much the same in Japan. They call it drugstore, um, but they pretty much have everything. Food, just like it's at the drugstore, but it's not really pharmacy, it's more like general supermarket sort of place but more like specialized in uh, medicines and stuff 16 fill her up in america if a restaurant doesn't offer free refills on fountain drinks it's kind of strange but in other countries once you buy one beverage mm. that's it 
Yes. France banned refills on sugary sodas back in 2017 in order to combat the current obesity epidemic. Oh, really but interesting. But in the U.S., the idea of free refills is still alive and well. 15. I like that. If you don't like it, return it. Whether it's an ugly sweater from grandma or a heinous pair of earrings from an ex, if you don't like it, <laughs> you can just return it. I mean, the U.S. even has a national returns day in January. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that is funny. But also in Japan, many people return stuff when, when it's not something that you expected it to be. It's hell for you to return holiday gifts you weren't too thrilled about. Tips for everyone. <gasps> Here comes tips. Cat drivers, servers, hairdressers, you gotta tip them. Tips are acceptable. Okay, so he just said, what, barbershop? Hairdresser, he said? So... It's obviously not just at restaurants, is it? Oh. Again, I'm freaking out about tips. For almost any service in the U.S. and sometimes consist of 25% of the bill. We haven't started tipping surgeons yet. <laughs> but Imagine doing that. Wow. There are places in other parts of the world, such as Japan, that consider tipping incredibly rude, like in restaurants. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, yeah, this is where I'm from, never tipping, never tipping, tipping isn't a thing, I don't understand it, well. 13, I'll take my coffee to go, with a Starbucks on every corner, hmm. it's very normal to see people toting around a coffee as they shop, commute to work, and whatever else at all times of the day, but in many parts of the world, Coffee is meant to be sipped on while seated and enjoying mm. the paper or chatting with friends. True. Tugging your coffee along with you throughout the day might be due to the fact that the cups are huge and take longer to drink. Uh, that's something I remember from London. Not necessarily from the US, but also in London many people walk around the street with a cup of coffee. The land of ice cold drinks. Now speaking of drinks, if it's not a hot coffee or cocoa, then it's probably got ice in it. Tea, coffee, lemonade, soda, water. Americans like soda, it on the water. rocks. Number 11. Well, that's normal. Keeping the AC on at all times. Americans must have an aversion to being hot. In many parts of Europe, people simply don't use air conditioning as much as they do in the States. Mm. Here, it's expected to always have the AC blaring. Mm, interesting. Visitors find it pretty strange and quite chilly. Yeah, also in Japan, many people use the AC because it gets really really hot in Japan and also because it's so uh, humid I think that's the thing it's so humid so just by opening the windows and letting the wind in doesn't really help number 10 looking at dollars is a snooze fest I remember going to Europe for the first time and thinking their banknotes look like monopoly money and I guess a lot of countries have bills of different colors and sizes mm depending on the value, like Swedish krona and Russian rubles, but not in the U.S. It's all greenbacks, baby. Oh, that's what he meant. Sure, tens look a little yellowy, fifties are kind of pinkish, and Benjamin seem bluer than the others. But still, U.S. dollars True. definitely... What is it like in Japan? I think Japan's got some different colors, too. I never thought about this while traveling. Number nine, giving a thumbs up. In America, even little kids know a thumbs up means good job, way to go, or anything positive like that. But if you travel to Greece or the Middle East and give this common American gesture, you probably won't make too many friends. Hey, how about giving this video a thumbs up for the useful tip? Do the same for my video as well. Great writing conundrum. So many visitors to the U.S. get really confused by the month-day-year thing mm. because most parts of the world write the day, then the month, then finally the year. There's no clear historical reason mm. why the U.S. insists on writing the day differently, but we just do. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. I thought the U.S. also did the date and then the month and then the year. In Japan, it's the year, then the month, and the day. Huh? Number seven, pre-baby baby showers. Many cultures celebrate a new baby coming into the world, but America is one of the few places that does this before the baby actually gets here. Number mm -hmm. six, baby showers. Hana party. Is that Hana party? Is that the same in the UK? 
In the UK, there's this thing called Hana, henna, henna party or something. Is that to do with babies? That's just getting married, right? Where how are you means hello. Sure, people ask each other how they're doing in other countries, but mm. Americans often use this phrase as a replacement for hey or hello. But in Japan, right, you don't even ask how are you. Like even if you wanted to know how they're doing, I mean, you can say genki desu ka. But it's not casual at all, it's not really common. Which is sad, like, they don't really like to talk about personal stuff, so they don't even really ask how, they, how the people are doing. Five, bathroom stalls that aren't so private. Hmm, really? don't like doing your business in front of complete strangers? Americans don't either, of course. But the fact that bathroom stall doors often reveal as much as your entire lower leg seems to say otherwise. There's really? No clear reason as to why there's this big gap in public bathroom stalls here. But that is guess weird. Imagine someone looking at you. Imagine someone being like. Number four. Poopy. No one uses their inside voice. A lot of my friends who are visiting or moved to the U.S. tell me that locals speak so loud compared to other countries. Whether it's talking on your cell phone or chatting with a friend over lunch. Americans seem to really like projecting their voice. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we just want to make sure we're heard. Number three. three. It's all about choices. Walk into any grocery store aisle, and you'll notice at least ten different options for cookies, crackers, or cereal. Mm. People in the UK don't have these many options for food, and you'll almost never find anything in grape flavor there. Number two. Hopping into the back seat of a cab. When getting into a cab, it's customary in the States to scoot on into the back seat. But in countries like New Zealand and Australia, riding anywhere but shotgun can be a little rude. Ah, interesting. Never thought of that. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that because I have never used taxi before? <laughs> I'm broke, you know. Classic American smile. In the U.S., People aren't afraid to be nice and show their pearly whites all the time. Oh, I love it. And according to a 2015 study at Brown University, because America has always been a very diverse country, it forced people to smile at each other more since mm. they couldn't always communicate Oh, I like with that. That's just one more historical theory I as like to that. why Americans tend to smile more than people in other places mm. do. Or maybe we're just, you know, friendlier. Mm. Amazing. I like that one. You know, I've got an interesting story. When I was in London, I went to do some work experience in Westminster Abbey, one of the most famous cathedral in London. And there was this guy that works there. And, you know, we were doing this job where we hand out the audio guide. And so we have to ask what language they want to have the audio guide to be set. And he could always tell where the person was from. Um, what was really cool was that almost 100% of the time he knew the American people, he could guess. So I asked him why he knew that they were American and he always, always said, because they smiled fast. And I was like, oh wow, that is amazing. And that made a lot of sense. American people are always, always smiling. And that is one of the reasons why I, I like them. It's really, really fun to be with, really friendly people. Even in Japan, when I meet people from the States, even nowadays, they're just always smiling, willing to chat with me, and yeah, really good people. Aww. Whether you're from the US or not, can you add any more strange Americanisms to the list? Let me know. Down in the comments. Same, let me know down in the comments. I will link the video in the description if you'd like to check it out. That is it from the video, but many things I already knew, some, some of them I didn't know. But, um, yeah, the things like mm, the smiling part, really I agree with it. Especially because the United States is like such a mixed country with lots of different cultures. So, yeah, that, that's already pretty really different from the Japanese culture because, you know, Japanese culture is like Japan. If you have any recommendation, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. God bless you and I'll see you next time. Huh? I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. Sayonara.